Hi all, hope all of you are doing well. Uh, today I'm going to teach you magnolia. Uh, this particular flower which I'm going to teach you is, uh, magnolia has so many different varieties, a species of flowers. This what I'm going to teach you is called as a saucer magnolia. This has six petals. Uh, the petals are a bit uh, saucer shaped bends. So that's why it's called as uh, uh, saucer magnolia. And this is this has a waxy petals of six petals. The main part of the uh, petals of this is generally most of the flowers we see uh, like big petals down and small petals in. Okay, but here it is the opposite. It is like the small petals will be outside and the big petals will be inside. Okay, three of the big petals inside, three of the small petals outside. So that is the difference in this magnolia, what we're going to see. So I have the vena, I have two set of cutters for that. And I have a skewer here. I'll show you why I'm going to use the skewer. Then I have a 26 gauge wire. Okay. So and a rolling pin. Take your rolling pin for that. Okay. Let Now let's start how to make the magnolia. This is a beautiful flower. It's nice pinkish color the outer part I take nice pure white dough so make sure you wash your hands nicely and clean up so you don't mess up with that white so we need a clean nice white just press as always I tell you just press and remove once again, just press. There's no need to be very thin petals. These are waxy thin, not very thin, not very thick. So uh, a medium thick is fine for this. Then press like this. Go up once again. I want to thin it more. So there are some uh, differences in this particular uh, flower on even the tree, the leaf you see one side it will be brown, one side it will be green. The down part will be brown. They look beautiful and even each of the stems, end of the stems you see these flowers and the buds. So they look very natural, they are very beautiful and they have a nice scent. Okay now it is, I am taking the small cutter. Now, generally, as I tell you, three fourth compulsory. Right? You see, these petals are small, so I am taking it little bit lesser than three fourth itself. So, just press. No wiggle, wiggle, please. Just pressing, and then removing your dough. Okay. Now. Take your 26 wire, just glide in through. See generally uh, we use edible glue to the wire. I am not using because my uh, dough is already soft and it's kind of wet. So it doesn't need extra glue as it would take more time. So I prefer to use directly without the glue. If your dough is dry then use the glue. Okay, these are the veiner, they are amazing petal veiners. Okay. So see this how I'm keeping it. That shape we need to get. So I'm just keeping perfectly where I get that shape. Then give a quick press. Now take it out slowly. And see the veins. Okay, the back veins are more important because when you are going to color, this is going to reflect more. So just make it sure it is good. And see what we do here is, uh, I'm not going to frill anything here. Uh, what I mean to say, I'm not going to use my ball tool or anything to frill it because it's a nice clean flower. So what I'm just going to do is, uh, my skewer, the edges alone, the edges of this alone. See. 
I'm just taking it back. If you see the real flower, you'll have it like that. It's like soft bends. You'll have a soft bends. It's kind of as I told you, it's a skinned flower. It has a nice skin, like texture. Hope you could see the bends what I'm doing in. Yeah, here also hold it nicely. Just bend this. And then just pinch the top part. Okay. Okay. See this? If you could see the sides I have bent here. See here. This part I've bent here, see? So it has a soft edge. So like that. So what I do is I take this like that. And then to have this position exactly the same, I'm using an egg tray. See this, uh, and I'm just positioning it like that. Okay, like this. So six, uh, three in the small and three in the big. You need to do like that. So then I will show you how to color it. And then I'll show you how to do the center for this. The magnolia center. See, I have done one. See, this is the magnolia center we are going to do. So I'm going to show you how to make this. It's pretty uh, bit uh, hard to work on with this. But uh, one thing is it should get dried fully. And then only you can fix it into the flower. Okay. Because the side once what we have the side pollens what we do it needs to get stuck properly so then only we can work on it okay everything is gum paste here so there is no cotton pollens or anything i've added so i've tried to work on everything with gum paste itself but if you are in a hurry and if you are, want to give it a, like you don't want to make so much of work you can add just the cotton ready-made pollens what you get in directly here and then you add the center okay like that Okay, this is for the saucer magnolia the saucer magnolia we are, this is one way of doing it okay there are so many different ways so this is one way of doing it so i'm going to show you how to work on this once again i have taken a 16 grade wire just make a shepherd hook in this just a tiny shepherd hook don't make it very big because very small we are going to add very tiny shepherd hook make it and then we'll use a very small amount of gum paste very small amount don't go too big because this flower especially the this flower what i am showing you is a small ones it's not a very big ones so when you're working on your gum paste if it got a bit dry this is how you apply shortening in your fingers and then work on your gum paste it becomes very soft and supple okay so i think this itself is big let me make it little bit more smaller this is still is big <coughs> this should be a little bit bigger than the pea size Okay, just a little bit bigger than the piece size is more than enough. Okay, and then now make the teardrop. Make a small teardrop. So make sure that the, your teardrop, as I told you, it should not be very big. Just flatten it up in this part. Okay, this size of teardrop is fine. Okay, now once again, as I told you, the center we need to burn it because it needs to hold it strong. So I'm using a blowtorch. Same way, burn it nicely. You can use a candle also, it does not necessary that you need to use a blowtorch. 
Because just I'm having here, so I'm using it. Just be careful when you're using this. Now, just insert. Okay. Then squeeze the down part. Okay. Squeeze. See, it's got caramelized so much. It's got caramelized. So squeeze the down part. Yeah, now see this, this is how it should be done. <coughs> the next thing, what I'm going to show you, we need to do the cutting. Okay, and now we need to snip the edges. I'm going to show you. Please have a scissors which is bent. Okay, this is the bent scissors. So I can snip it and lift it. I'm going to show you, see this. I'm going to snip it and lift it. 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 Like that. You can just snip it nicely and then lift it. So just go around like that. Clear off any excess. The next stage go up a little bit. that until the top you need to snip it see the flower itself is this small so that's the reason the center I'm making it this small there are different magnolias the bigger ones has a very huge center for that, you need to make it big. For this, this small is enough. Okay. Now see, I have done it. Okay, like this, you need to do and keep, okay? Now, for the stamens outside, I'm going to show you a small trick. Take a small amount of gum paste, condition it, sorry generally my table around is all messy, I need everything so I make sure that everything is around my table so it's easy for me to get up. Okay now what I'm going to do. I'm just going to elongate it. Okay. I'm just going to elongate it. And then I'm going to just thin it as much as possible. Okay, like this, thin it. And then use a wheel wheel tool or use a spatula like this just cut one part of the place then just I'm gonna cut it here I'm gonna cut it here and I'm gonna cut it here okay so remove all other parts you get a nice rectangle like this okay this thin small piece of rectangle we're going to make this demands just dust this nicely so it doesn't get torn 
once again here what you need is a super sharp scissors just one side alone you see just one side alone I'm going to snip very thin as thin as possible you could do just snip it nicely see this is optional as I told you if you guys don't want to do this you can directly put put on the cotton ready-made ones Just snip it nicely as thin as possible. The same level. Now see this. Um, I've done this. Now next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on a floral board. Okay. Okay. Hopefully you could see this now. Once again, a dab, a quick dab of some corn flour. Then take your Dresden tool, the sharper side of your Dresden tool, the sharper side of your Dresden tool. Just each stem in. Just give character to it so so it it is not just straight I'm just pulling it with a sharper edge hopefully you could see I'll expand it so you guys could see it more better I'm just giving the center so as well as you get a vein kind of a thing and it works on Just for every single cut, just do it. This is, that's what I told you first itself. This may be a bit time consuming, but it looks nice. Some of the magnolias flowers are closed also. So there is no need to do your center itself. Just with the petals alone, you can cover the center. So the center will not be visible. That's another quick fix which I do sometimes. But this is so satisfying to do like this. And you can see uh, the way how naturally it comes. Okay. So this is the way if you could see okay so now i will attach this with the center what we have already made like this okay so so when i'm keeping it here i find it the down part is a bit more up okay so i'm going to just give a thin cut what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to give another small thin cut. Yes, now this is fine. Generally, what I do is I fix up, I let let it dry, and then apply the green color to it. And then outer I'll color with yellow, with a light egg yellow. And then after I stick it, then I add on the plum color to it. Okay. I'm going to show you, but the other way, because now we are doing as a video, I'm a tutorial. I'm going to show you directly how I'm going to do the green. Okay, here I have some 
green so just spread the green nicely i have used a fresh green so if you don't have a fresh green you can always mix up yellow and your leaf green and it becomes fresh green apply nicely just because the dough is very fresh i'm very fragile i'm working on i don't want it to come out cuz just now i showed you guys on this generally leave this for a dry a bit and then you work on it that's more safer now like this this i have done this the center now i'm going to show you the stamens how i'm going to color them always one more thing about your brushes whatever brushes you use for petal dust never wash it with water the, always the brushes should be dry even if you wash it with water and then dry it still you will have some kind of moisture in it so i always clean it up with corn flour so you to save your paint brushes okay now i have some egg white i'm sorry egg yellow color here so i'm just going to dust it mildly okay I'm just going to dust it very mildly. Both sides. Don't overdo it. just mainly because we are going to use a w color to it okay first let me just let me do one color first with this and then i'll show you how i'll do the other color adding on to this okay now i'm going to stick this to the ones we have already made So apply a very mild glue. Huh? Don't overdo this. Very mild glue. Very mild glue. I've applied here. Now just see what I'm going to do with this. Just stick down like this. Just stick down like this. just i'm trying to give the pressure only the down part okay bring it down like this now the down part you need to settle this down part it's very important because end of the day we are going to add the other petals here okay okay now see like this and then start releasing your stamens properly out now we see this this is the way you build up your stamens so this is the way you build up your stamens now the quick fix is here once again 
I'm using a plum. <coughs> I have a plum color from out to in or in to out. Please make sure, see, because it is fresh and I need to do the tutorial, I'm doing this with fresh dough. You guys do it, make sure you guys dry this properly and then do it, it will be much better and it stands nicely. This is your center okay now I'm going to show you how to color the petals now coloring of the petals I'm using a flat brush okay this is the fan brush just take generously your plum color see when I'm doing it the veins will start visible so this is what what we need okay okay if you think you are doing less and you want more once again I can do it from the start go from the start and go okay like this okay this is the way you need to color everything so just blend in slowly and make sure you are not coming till the edge of it okay I'm going to show you other petals too as I told you three big and three small becomes this sosa magnolia one full flower so what I'm doing don't ever go to the front see this is the back side of it this has more back side of the color so just go ahead going in just blend in Okay, don't work on too much just blend in so if when you are blending in make sure that the color gets everywhere see this is because of the veins it's nice strong veins so I'm just adding it on and then releasing it up here okay like this Hold it nicely. Generously, please give the plum color because this is going to be only one side and they look beautiful when you do that. And always, as I told you, dry it a bit and then do it. Then doing it right away after doing the petals. So it gets dried more so it's easy to color and it doesn't get blotched. Just grab the colors. How many times you want to do also make sure you come to the edge and start your work see I'm going to the edge of it starting the work and bring it back okay that's the way you should like this all the petals all the six petals we will do it okay now I have colored all the, thing, the petals now and I have cut and kept my tape into two divided into two and so thin three big and three small as I told you in this three small and three big the three big is going to be the first petals and the three small is going to be the last few petals okay as I told you make sure your center your center is already dry then you work on it now I'm it's okay I can handle it but make sure you always dry your centers and then you start working on your petals okay now I'm going to take the first petal. Uh, there are touches, see here, there are touches, which is already because my hand was everywhere pink. So you can always try to brush it a bit 
and this is gone as an inside petal so we could manage it it will not be visible much okay so i'm going to put it like that so make sure always you have a, a nice strong tweezers the thick ones so you could bend accordingly so you know where to join your petals see you i'm going to join it like that okay just be careful when you're handling this a little bit bend because i want it to join perfectly a little bit bend i'm doing here I see a lot of them just only taping the top and going moving ahead with others. See that's okay, but still sometimes the petal starts moving. So to be safer, this is the best way is tape till the end. I am from the old school, so I do like this, and I've found it this is more easier. See the petal is strong; it doesn't move. Now the second one. Make sure. Keep the petal first, and then see where to bend, and bend it, hold it, and bend it accordingly. Okay. Now this is okay. Uh, still the down i bring it and the third <clears throat> see these petals see on um, my gum paste this is a very fresh ones what i have done here and as i told you i have joined also like that accordingly in that way so there are chances like if you dry it more better then it's easy or else you need to use all these kind of tools to work on because i don't want the petal to come out of the wire okay so make sure you do it when it's dry okay now see i moved it as 3 now the the small three okay see the small three i've done once again i bend it here i can always see it here also just keep it here and bend it that is also is fine but generally i already know where i need to cover it yeah like this when you cover it you see the exactly where the space is i've just covered it like that tape it nicely until the end tape it until the end and see one more in between so i hold with my tweezers down to see where i could add it on and then i cover they look beautiful these i love this because it's such a bright pink it gives and if you add some uh, buds to it also it looks very nice and uh, because these flowers generally are in branches the branches are brown in color and the, these guys are all pink in colors the contrast is beautiful so if you do a few two or three flowers and then add one or two buds to it and make it like a branch then it looks very nice okay now see i have put it here i put it here i put it here now first three i have done it now i should do it here okay so once again i hold the wire and bring it here see this see the flower 
how beautiful it is i'll i'll show you some small variation what you can add it but that for only for competition purpose you can use that uh, just as a commercial baker you don't need to do all those things uh, once again as a small tip i'm telling you uh, even for the center if you are using it for commercial baking purpose and uh, selling it don't do the center like what i've told you just add on the uh, cotton ones which you get the ready made ones and work on it okay okay now see this now see the flower okay and see the edges how the edges are all been bent so it gives you that natural look okay see this it gives you that natural look okay the one more thing which as i told you uh, you could uh, even do that is um, if you have some brown color with you then you can put because the outer petals always the outer petals has some brown spots like <clears throat> for example if the water had stayed for a bit longer time on the outer petals it tends to give a brown spot because this is more uh, more of very thick petals so if you add one or two drops of brown here and there it looks more realistic okay it looks more realistic only the outer petals huh? not the inner petals don't touch the inner petals only the outer petals okay now this is what will be your magnolia saucer magnolia and for this i will show you small buds you can work on with the buds also i'll show you the buds how to make your buds yeah for the bud as i told you i have added some fern green uh, fern green to it so it is like brownish green it comes so i'm going to show you how i'm going to make the bud same way just make a shepherd hook you can make various sizes bud from small to big i'm going to show you how the bud looks it's not going to be very uh, sharp or very blunt it's it's medium weight is Okay, you can make this as one size bud. We'll make two different buds. And one more, the small tiny bud. will not be very sharp so to make sure that the tips are not very sharp kind of blunt once again i'm going to burn enter it always after entering it hold it upside down for a few seconds and then squeeze the hole which already is there okay this is one bud will make and i'm going to make one more bud <coughs> once again i'm going to make a shepherd hook in this the wire what i've taken here is 16 you can even take 
If you just combine with two or three buds like that, they look more nicer. They have a calyx also in this. For these buds, they get a nice cute calyx. I'm going to show you that also. Okay, like this. Another thing is, now you get the hairiness of the bud, okay? You get a nice hairiness of the bud. What I'll do is, first let me color them with the fern green and then I'll show you how I add the hair. Take the fern green, just apply them. This fern green is kind of, uh, it is on, it is on in that, like uh, you see the colors in this, after coloring this, the other one also I'm going to color. Color them nicely like this. Now next, after coloring them, I'm going to show you that other technique. Okay, here, take your edible glue. Just give a thin coat of edible glue. Very thin coat on, no, not too much, just like that. Like everywhere it should get touched, that's the point. And then here I have the semolina. So I have powdered the semolina a bit more. If your semolina is a bit thick, you can powder it once you know, in your dry grinder. And then I've just made it like powder. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle the semolina everywhere. Just sprinkle the semolina everywhere. So the rest, I mean the basic oh, one single coat will get stuck and the rest will get released. Okay, once it's been done like this, you can remove, if it's very strong, you can remove some. I'm just going to just brush it very mild. Okay. Yeah. See, this is what the look I need. So I'll do this for the smaller one also. That's the reason I told you I want a very thin coat. Make sure everywhere it's applied. And then apply your semolina. If it more also don't worry you can just remove it easily it comes out so now just okay 
Now see this. Let this be like that. So I'm going to join these two. Just bring them to a natural bend. So when you join together, it should not touch each of them. Make sure like that. Okay, like this, and tape them. I'm going to tape here using either you can use a brown tape or a white tape. I'm going to do a white tape here. I'm going to cover them with the white tape, and then I'm going to color the top with brown. Form it up nicely. For make sure they don't touch. Stretch nicely. Okay, like this. Stretch the. We have stretched it. and you can just brush them with brown i have have this brown here brush them nicely with brown like this yeah, make like that and as i told you we can work on a calyx also for the buds but that's not very necessary unless and until you go for a competition as of now i'll show you with this now according to the flower i'm going to bend my now i can join it like this when you're joining big petals like this i mean flower and the other, other buds together you need to use a full tape never use a half tape for this use a full tape once again sorry i can i'll use the white tape keep using the green tape and i'm so used with green tape suddenly when i change the color i forgot okay go ahead like this paint them also the whole set as brown Okay, 
like this now this is how the magnolia is going to be so you can just place them and if you want some dry twigs kind of a thing with the 24 wire gauge wire itself you can just cut and join together into pieces small small pieces and color them brown and join that also here join that also here in the behind you can make some twigs here so it looks more natural okay hope you guys enjoyed this thank you